yesterday in the defense it was a landslide um, a landslide victory for Tobin so uh, Tobin will be the defensive captain offensively in this election year was too close to call um, between Dane and Tanner so Dane and Tanner will both represent the offense it won't it won't be just Dane it won't be just Tanner so there'll be tri captains of Tobin uh, Dane and Tanner I'll also on a weekly basis they'll be team captains throughout the year on a weekly basis, we'll also add a special teams captain based off of the performance from the prior week. So like after the, after the opener against South Dakota State, when we go to play Rice, whoever we pick as the player, uh, player of the week on special teams will be a fourth captain. So this way the special teams will always, will always be represented. I always believe that the special teams should be based off of performance. And this way, it gives a little, you know, an incentive each week when they're playing on special teams. But Tobin will represent the defense. Uh, Dane and Tano will represent the offense. I couldn't have handpicked three players any better than that. Um, um, I think the team made made very, very solid, wise choices. You know, I, I, I believe that it's very telling for Tobin to be picked for a captain two years in a row. I think that that's a, that's a very strong statement by your peers. I think Tanner, who's been starting here forever, I think it's great that that the players didn't just, just didn't automatically just everyone vote for Dane, you know, because that would be the assumption that most most people had. But really, it was too close to call. It was, it was, it was, it was too, and like I said, it's an election, election year, so I figured <laughs> I had to be politically correct. So I'm very happy with the three young men. They, uh, I told the team at 2.45 today, they're is very well received by the team and the, co the players and the coaches. Um, they're going to come in here and get ready, and then they'll be in here to, to come and talk to you individually. Yeah, I mean, he's a leader. He's absolutely a leader on and off the field. Um, a guy that, uh, you know, has been here for a while, you know, has been through a lot and, and seen uh, multiple co coaching changes, and he's just been a guy that's been a team guy always. and. Um, you know, a ton of respect for him, and, and obviously the team feels the same way. To be honest, I, I was very, very honored, very flattered that my teammates, you know, thought that of me to, to name me a captain. Um, you know, it, it's it's great knowing that your team supports you, um, but at the same time, you know, it's just it's just a title. I mean, there's there's not a whole lot besides I'm just this, I'll be the same guy. Um, you know, I'll come to work every day the, the same way that I had been prior to being named a captain, and um, you know, it's great you know hearing those things, but at the same time, we've got we've got work to do. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it is, you know, I think that um, especially if it's a quality guy like, like Tanner, um, you know, it, it's great that you can, you know, get multiple voices, you know, saying the same message. And uh, I, th I think that um, really just helps kind of reach out to, to all the guys on the team and um, especially with, with off the field stuff. I mean, I think right. that's the, the biggest emphasis that, um, you know, the captains, you know, want to, uh, you know, make sure we work on is, is taking care of that off the field stuff. And uh, making sure that we're we're limiting uh, mistakes off the field because that's it's hurt our team quite a bit so far. I mean, really, that's just we got to take more of a responsibility as players to to look out for for other guys and make sure that um, we're holding each other accountable. Um, you know, that's it, that's what you got to do to be a good teammate. I mean, it's great. I mean, uh, to think that your teammates vote for you as a captain of the team. I mean, it's definitely an honor. Um, knowing that they kind of look up to you and look at you as someone that kind of gets the team going, gets them motivated and whatnot. So, yeah, it's a definite honor. <clears throat> Says that obviously he's coming here and kind of not necessarily forcefully taking the reins, but he's worked himself into the position to be the leader of the team. Obviously, you always look at the quarterback position being kind of the leader. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, he did a really good job with that. I mean, he came in, went to workouts, and just worked worked his tail off just as, like everyone else. And people kind of saw that, like, okay, he's here. He's, he's going to work just like everyone else. And, I mean, kind of slowly gain the respect of the guys. And, I mean, it shows, obviously, being chosen as captain. Um, I think just kind of being those guys, not only talking to the young guys, kind of letting them know what's, what's expected and what's going on, but also for the rest of the team, just to kind of make sure that they're doing things right and kind of get them going in practices and whatnot when things aren't necessarily going good. And also you can look to the season with adversity comes up, kind of being that guy to step forward and being like, hey, we need to – Keep keep our heads heads down. Keep chopping wood. Keep keep on that path, and just kind of be that guy that people can look towards to kind of help them help them through tough times and kind of point them in the right direction. Uh, it's really an honor the fact that you know the guys are confident in me to be able to lead this team, and along with Tanner and Dane, it's just it's really a nice honor for me. I was it was it definitely caught me by surprise. Usually, you know, we wait till the beginning of the season so we can see how guys perform during the summer and during training camp. 
But uh, the fact that the coaches decided to do it now when we haven't had much time to practice and you know a lot of guys still felt that confidence in me, it says a lot. Well, first and foremost, you know, we, we have a lot of off-the-field issues that have been happening, guys getting dismissed, and I think that's one of the first things that that needs to be immediately addressed. And, uh, you know, it's definitely something I'll take responsibility of, whether that's watching out for guys on and off the field and whether guys go out or, you know, just trying to be able to be there for them and help them make better decisions. It shows, obviously, that we need to make better decisions as a team whenever we, you know, we get time off. And really just all the time we need to make better decisions, realize that, you know, we're in the eyes of a lot of people and we're, we're kind of held to a pedestal and we need to hold ourselves to higher, higher standards than everybody else.